Hey guys, what's up? Classic Baller here. We are now in this fourth game of this March 7, 2022 NBA game day. This is the game between Port and Trail Blazers with a record of 25 and 38. Sorry, uh, visiting Minnesota Timberwolves with a record of 36 and 29. The game will be at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at the uh, Western Conference standings first. Starting off with Minnesota Timberwolves. They are at number 7 in the West. For their last 10 games, they have won 7. And approaching this game, man, they are on a 4-game winning streak. Portland Trail Blazers, they are at number 11, you know, waiting to uh, make a last push, waiting for uh, uh, some of their uh, stars to actually um, get back um, and play for them. Um, they, man, they are at number 11 for their last 10 games. They have only won four times. Approaching this game, they have lost four straight. Minnesota Timberwolves, they have the home court advantage on this. Obviously, they would also have the advantage in terms of momentum, while in terms of fatigue, both players rested yesterday. So I'm looking at the uh, injury list right now. Starting with Minnesota Timberwolves, there are a lot, okay. Um, McKinley Wright and Anthony Edwards are ruled out for this game. Naz Reed. Patrick Beverly and, and Torrey and Prince all listed as questionable for this game. So two are out, possibly five, depending on the situations of those three players. Now for uh, Portland, um, man, this is long. Uh, Little, Luzada, Nurkic, Ingles, Lillard. Anthony Simons is not even playing, man. Justice Winslow, Eric Bledsoe, all are out. So that's three, six, eight. Eight players confirmed out for Portland Trail Blazers. While um, we have Greg Brown and Elijah Huge uh, listed as probable for this game. So eight are out, and there are two who are probable for Portland Trail Blazers. Man, health really is. An issue for this team. The spread is at minus 10 for uh, Minnesota. Well, it opened that way, and I'm checking on it right now. It's still at minus, minus 10. I'm not sure if you actually watched the last game of these two teams, man, just the other day. Um, Portland Trailblazers, they actually did well. You know, they actually hung around uh, not until the fourth quarter when Minnesota Timberwolves actually broke away. But if you notice, uh, the, the main reason as to why Portland Trail Blazers actually was able to make it close for like the, the first three quarters. At some point, they were even having the lead. Um, it's because of Anthony Simons. Man, that young, uh, that young baller uh, knows how to shoot. Knows how to shoot threes, knows how to set up his teammates, and knows how to get uh, those fouls from his opponents. But on this game, he's actually tagged us out. Uh, the other stars are out still. You know, I'm talking about Bledsoe, Lillard. They are still not playing. Nurkic, man. Minnesota Timberwolves, they are on a roll. They're trying to make a hard push so that they can make a better position for the playoffs. Um, this one's easy. Minnesota Timberwolves would win this one. And at the same time, I think they would be they should be able to cover the spread of minus 10. So my pick would be Minnesota Timberwolves minus 10. Wolves minus 10. Peace out. Pass love. God bless.